A sister has sent a question and she's asking if my breast is flat, can I do implant to look a woman? Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Now many people have a uh, um, problem with the physical. Now something that require a medication and some of them require a medical assistance and some of them require a medication and some of them some kind of a treatment to make sure you look like a normal it, it, it's totally fine it's it's a medical reason but uh, now here is the case where does the, the concept of implant has came from this is not something islamically it came from the non-muslim they came up this option to look like but now this is totally a very filthy this is very un-Islamic, this is totally a haram, it's forbidden. Let, let us understand something. If your husband would like you and do you think you are the only one who was like this, the flat chest, with the flat breast? Definitely, there's like millions out there, even um, there, there's a millions of women probably like that. It's not just you. So do you think all those millions of women have an implant? So basically, Shaitan is trying to uh, whisper in your heart and uh, he is telling you that uh, look at those women look at those women and you're going to get a future husband and uh, you have to look like a woman this is not allowed to definitely not allowed to this is totally haram this is forbidden in Islam for uh, for instance let's say for an example if you get an implant later on you find a very good person who loves you by a character because no one knows what's going to happen in the future let's say you find a person who loves you but later on he finds out you have an implant he might leave you he will divorce you because if you're looking for someone who has a taqwa who's close to allah who's close to the prophet who has been living uh, uh life with the taqwa so definitely you would not need to go into fall into that type of type of thing that you have to do the implant to impress other people well, why do you have to do that you need to build up your relation with Allah if you have a good relation with Allah and you're living a sunnah life then definitely you would be uh, thinking about that <clears throat> because of the woman the sisters or those things like that because by looking at the media looking at the Hollywood the Bollywood and uh, how many woods are there and uh, definitely those women by looking at them uh, are the women that's why this the things comes up in their mind to do something that looks really much better but rather let's try to build our relation with Allah let's try to live a life according to the sunnah and allah knows what is good for us we do not know ourselves what is good for us but rather allah knows what is good for us so he's going to choose a pattern for us but rather not to change yourself to make sure you look good just leave it as it is all you have to do just clean up yourself make sure you look nice and clean that's all you need because allah has already destined something for you and someone for you you don't need to do the implants and all that this is a very filthy this is uh towards a uh, fornication that's like later on when you become a mother and uh, what do you expect you're going to uh, feed your baby implant that the silicone is going to go into the baby's mouth it doesn't make any sense why you want to make your uh breast like like a, look like a huge and that looks like filthy with your family members and everybody is going to be looking at but rather stay in the limits try to build up your relationship with allah and he knows what's good for you if you have a taqwa in you if you have a good in you so allah will Think of you what is good for you and you will have the perfect partner according to the way you are.